Oh, good evening. Welcome back to the layout. I've painted up the buffer stops, point levers, and ground signals. So I've only just painted um, these. They should all, well, should be dry now. So initially sprayed them all in black, painted the white details and then the grey over the, the metal grills. So I'm going to start placing these onto the layout. Um, just starting with the depot point levers. So these will go next to the points. So, so you'll see, let me just bring that across. Right. Okay. <coughs> so you'll see they'll just fit in nice. So, always use a uh, BVA glue, I do find it so much easier. Um, if I need to move them, I can just lift, lift them with a bit of water, leave it on. This is a, a quite a good wood PVA, so it um, won't lift as easy. So when I'm doing the ballasting, I uh, soak the layout, it, they're not going to move. But they will, um, obviously, glue will loosen and then reset once it's all dry. They should be looking like that, so the idea is there's a big manual points on this layout. Okay, the there will be um, wired, so but uh, for the realism, they're going to be like manual. So I'm going to add. So I've got um, four more to fit. So I'm just going to zoom out a little bit That's so how we can see. So some people actually cut the lugs off the points. I'm going to leave them on in case I ever need to use them to switch the points manually. That's one thing that I didn't really say, is just make sure your points move freely once you've fitted anything. You don't want to obstruct them. So I'm unsure whether to have this on this side here or there. The, 
will be a road coming down here. This one's got to be on this side, so it's to make sense to put that one on that side, but uh, it it is my layout, so if I want to put it on that side, I'll put it on that side, or vice versa. And we've just got this one left. I'm going to put this on this side because I know I've got a fuel. So I'll just uh, this one here. I'm putting it on this side because I do have a fuel depot. Um, removing it from uh, the double sided, I have not the point lever on that one, so I will need to secure that down. And then I was looking at some of these in real life, these uh, ground signals at the Great Central Railway today. So just to see how they actually they are painted and they are all black um, with just a white handle and the directional, you know, um, the red and green sort of warning on there. So I think I'm going to use them. It's not going to be accurate it's going to be how I want them so somebody starts to say oh you can't put you know a <laughs> ground signal there uh, like I say it's uh, it's where I want to put them I'm not going to put any cable into these so I'm not too worried on that side but I just want to get everything on there before I start ballasting um, because obviously the ballast if you try to fit these afterwards um, it, you'll be really difficult so you'd have to remove some ballast and everything like that so I'm not sure if um, I'm doing this 100% The good thing about the glue, you can just move it if you want to. So, mm -hmm. I think I should have one there. I think it should. More here. I think that we can so we've got some buffer stops to fit things around a little bit so you can see I'm going to fit these buffer stops. 
plan is. Gonna have them on here and a bit further up. So I'm gonna use three there. And the other four I'm going to fit afterwards because they're actually going to go um, where the concrete area is. So I'm just going to use some PVA glue. It will dry nice and clear, so that's a really good. And I can remove them if needed. Might need to just weight that down, it's not quite. I think when I was making it, it wasn't quite square, so I may, <laughs> I may use a piece of tape or something to just hold it down. PVA does take a little bit of time to go off. I mean, you can use super glue. Just going to fit one more on there. I was wondering where all of them were. Okay, and this should much better once the uh, glue has dried. So. The rest on the other end of the layout, once I've actually um, printed out the, the hard standing. So I'll show you that next on the next video.